Right, tonight at Hannity's America, the president's honeymoon with the press is already over. Now, Mr. Obama's announcement of a, quote, new era of openness have left some in the media scratching their heads wondering, well, why so many closed doors? Now, a reporter from Politico.com pressed President Obama yesterday about why he nominated a lobbyist to a senior post at the Defense Department after pledging his administration would be lobbyist-free. The executive order on ethics I will sign shortly represents a clean break from business as usual. As of today, lobbyists will be subject to stricter limits than under any, uh, under any other administration in history. If you are a lobbyist entering my administration, you will not be able to work on matters you lobbied on or in the agencies you lobbied during the previous two years. When you leave government, you will not be able to lobby my administration for as long as I am president. Obama responded by saying. We will be having a press conference at which time you can feel free to answer questions. Right now I just wanted to say hello and, and, and introduce myself to you guys. That's all I was trying to do. That's what he said two days ago. But as we first told you last night, and sadly, we are learning more about this today, President Obama already wants an exception to his own rule. You see, what happened is there is this former lobbyist for a big defense contractor called Raytheon. His name is William Lynn, and President Obama wants him to be Deputy Defense Secretary. So the Obama administration now wants a waiver to its own rule, which basically means it is saying we will mostly put tough new restrictions on lobbyists, except when we won't. Really, is this how it's gonna be? Please, please don't make us all any more cynical than we already are, Mr. President. If you have no intention of abiding by your new rules, then don't make new rules. That would be actual transparency.